Your feet get cold. I pretty much have been with animals my whole life. Mostly cats, I never had dogs until later on in my life. I think I was in fourth grade when we got Sabine as a puppy. My, my mom said we had to stop by a house because it's one of Noni's friends and she needs us to pick something up for her. My parents told us to walk into the other room and we saw this pudgy little wrinkly puppy passed out on the couch. <laughs> And that was Sabine. She's technically a yellow lab, but she's the darkest they come. And it's called the fox red color. It's a rare color, actually. It's like one one every hundred labs turn out that color, I think. So she's special. It's very obvious. One of the calmest dogs I know. She's very obedient. We know we we taught her so many tricks. Well, she got her name because we've always named our animals after like TV characters, movie characters, that kind of thing. And we were having a hard time trying to figure it out because she's red. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to rename her after like a redhead or something. We liked the movie Three Musketeers and there's a character in there. Her first name is Sabine and so that's what we went with. Well, because we kind of nicknamed her Beanie Baby or Bean for short, <laughs> um, we always knew that if we had puppies, she had puppies I should say, that we would name them after beans, you know. It was just something that, it, sometimes you just know what you want to do. It's just, it's like we knew we wanted to breed her from the beginning. We got started, how we get started? Um, online, trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to do it. Online's like, like the best thing. I don't know how people did it before, <laughs> before we had the internet. Um, there's different types of labs. You've got the ones that are um, like the more box head and stuff, and some of them are more geared towards um, uh, like the sport as in like um, like you see on TV where they, they run and jump in the water yeah. and catch the things, yeah. you know, things like, like that. But then they've got some that are uh, a breed of lab that's better at uh, field, um, like going out and catching the birds. Like Sabine. Like Sabine. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to figure out which ones you wanted and you had to narrow down. Do you want one with more of a boxy head and a shorter nose or do you want one with a, you know, kind of more streamlined yeah. <laughs> head. And that's what Sabine is. Sabine's more of a streamlined than a box yeah. head. What we ended up doing was um, looking at, again, looking at online, looking at different um, um, breeders who had her, her type of dog, her type of lab, and then just kind of talk to people. Um, well, we, we built Sabine's open box, and uh, I think we knew she was in labor, but we didn't know when the first puppy was gonna be there. So um, I think I just finished like I think I just finished dressing myself from a shower, and I walked out into the hall, and my mom's coming upstairs to take her shower, and I asked, hey, uh, "Where's Sabine? How's she doing?" She says she seems fine. She's in her. I put her in her open box just in case. Thank God. <laughs> um, like, oh, okay, cool. So I go downstairs, go check on her, and keep an eye on her. So my dad's upstairs sleeping. And I walk down there, I'm like, hi Sabine, I walk in, I look in there, and there's blood everywhere. I don't think I've ever run, I literally do not remember leaving that spot and being at the top of the stairs screaming, the puppies are here. <laughs> I do not remember that. No, I have a video of that. And just, my mom didn't even get a chance to get in the shower. She, we all came sprinting downstairs. My dad had to go one and grab my brother and grab all the supplies. My mom and I are sitting there trying to clean them and stuff. Aww. And uh, just. <laughs> my dad, I think it was my dad that came up with the idea of naming all the puppies after beans. Mm. So there's Green Bean, obviously, who, um, because he, was came, he came out green, um, we named him Green Bean. And then, uh, and then it was Coco, and this was my idea to do, um, the darkest one was going to name Coco for Coco Bean. And then, um, and then Garbanzo, was gonna be the biggest one for Garbanzo Bean. Um, 
and then vanilla she was going I was gonna name that one the lightest one so obviously vanilla was the lightest one we had um, then Boston baked bean Boston for short and then MJ which stood for Mexican jumping bean okay well there's green bean Born at 310, we estimated that we didn't know when exactly he was born. 6.9 ounces. He died from which right around the time Coco was born. <laughs> she was born 615. There's a noticeable difference. She was 9.6 ounces. Okay, then there was Garbanzo. He was the biggest. He was born at 650, uh, 14.5 ounces, and he was he was the biggest out of the whole group. He still is. And then came Vanilla. Yay. She was born 7 o'clock. She was 10 ounces. She was the fourth heaviest. Um and then came Boston. We nicknamed him um, Pig Nose because it, it looked like he had a pig nose. It was squished. <laughs> uh, he's 11.1. .1. He was the third biggest. He was born at 749. And then we have the last one, NJ, NJ. which stands for Mexican Jumping Bean. Um, she was born. When, he was born 749, and we thought that was the last one. Mm -hmm. But then she was born a four, at 857. Uh, she was 11.2. At that point, she was actually the second biggest. Yeah, so that's it. See, what's it like bringing up into their independence? Well, let's see. I haven't let go. What's it like <laughs> letting go? I'm waiting till you guys really screw up and I'm taking them back. Yeah. <laughs> um, most exciting thing was probably the fact that I, I found out about the puppies at first, and that was that was great. And uh, <laughs> um, that was just my adrenaline kicked in so much. Um, least favorite part, obviously, giving them up and Coco Wait. We have people interested in her, they're like, we'll go back to you. Mom's like, we're all, actually, we're all like, no, no, you're not going back to us because we're keeping her. <laughs> and I guess it was easier the fact that we gave it to friends um, that we could see like every day, I guess. Know what you're getting into. Do your research, know what you're getting into, both if you're going to breed, because there's certain requirements for some breeds when they're little, and definitely requirements when they're older. Gotta know what you're getting into.